St. Patrick's Day is just a few days away and just like everything, it's going to look a little different this year. Today we're getting some ideas for celebrating at home with an authentic Irishman and a guy who's absolutely a riot, John Cosgrove of Cosgrove Presents. And you have a beautiful stew to make for us today, as well as some great things that you can do at home and that are safe for COVID, right? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to St. Patrick's Day. Of course, it's very important for us Irish people with all the culture and tradition that's going on around St. Patrick's Day and what better way to celebrate COVID or no COVID with some tasty food. Well, I love your the stew that you, you, you've already gotten together and you have two bottles of beer there, which is a great place to start, right? Well, Irish stew in of its nature, Dave, is pretty straightforward. I mean, carrots, potatoes, mushrooms, some celery. The real difference is gonna come in those special ingredients. And I like to incorporate a little bit of an Italian twist to it because we learned from our Italian neighbors, tomato paste, adds a little bit more depth to it. Yes, you mentioned it, we have the bottle of beer as well. Don't worry for those of you at home worried about adding beer to your food, we reduce it so therefore all the alcohol is gone. This product here, this is from Ireland. This is what's called Chef Brown Sauce. If there's anybody from Ireland, they're gonna know exactly what this is. This is only available in specialist shops. There's one over in St. Paul, Irish on Grand, where you can buy it. I'm not sure where else you can buy it. I don't need to worry because I know where to get it. This has got the little bit of, to use a French term, the je ne sais quoi. And then what's also important is what you accompany the food with. And in this case, we've got some wonderful Irish soda bread, which is made right here in Minnesota over at uh, Bakersfield. But you had mentioned to me earlier that everybody kind of has their own recipe for stew. It, it, it's passed down, it's different from family to family. Yes. What makes your stew different? So uh, what is really important, what I have learned from mistakes and, you know, I'm not going to go on CARE 11 until I've eliminated the mistakes. That's the, uh, that's the, that's, that's the joy of this. Um, with the meat, it's so important to sear the meat before you put it in the bowl. When you think of stew and you think of crock pots, just throw all the ingredients into the pot, close the lid and forget about it. What's really important with Irish stew, in my mind, and of course, the purists will use lamb. Lamb isn't as popular in the US, so it's more expensive. We're focusing on the beef stew, which works really well with the Guinness. We sear it. I have the meat sitting out here. I've seasoned it with just salt and pepper. So it's sitting here, it's absorbing those. So when I go and sear it, I put it in the pot. Then I add my little secret ingredients and then I put all the other ingredients on top and then let nature do its magic. Do you have it there? I use the Instapot simply because convenience. I have three kids, we don't have a lot of time. The crock pot, <coughs> pardon me, the crock pot is great, <coughs> pardon me, on a Sunday when you, you know, prepared in the morning and then take off for the rest of the day, come back in the evening and the house smells wonderful. Okay. The Instapot is like a fast track but there is no difference in the taste. Again, I challenge anyone who Instapot, Crock-Pot, I mean, you'd have to have a very refined palate to tell the difference. So here we have it in the Instapot, and what's very important is that the veggies maintain their character. So the, the carrots are bright orange, the potatoes are there. I've added mushrooms. Mushrooms are a sort of a taste. If you like mushrooms, you should certainly add them. I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms. And then I like to add a sprig of thyme because there's one thing we're always looking for, Dave, is more thyme. I agree. So you might say, we're having dinner at six, but don't have it ready till about 6.30. That way they're hungrier and there's no better sauce, especially for a lot of Irish food, than hunger. So they've been waiting an extra half hour. They're waiting. Don't be giving them any appetizers. We don't need that. When we present the stew to them, they're ready for it. John, this is fantastic. Maybe next year we can do this in person. I would love to try some of your stew in person. If I'm living in spared, I would love to go into the Care 11 kitchen, bring a couple of bottles of Guinness, some for the stew, maybe some for afterwards. We'll have a good time. John, thanks so much. Happy St. Patrick's You're Day. You're very welcome. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, everybody.